everybody, this is Carrie Goulder from Kid Giddy, and I'm here today to show you how to make this cute little tank top for your 18 inch doll. We are going to need a couple of pieces of fabric. You're going to need some for the front of the tank as well as the back, and you'll need some fabric that will be long enough for the straps. So this little binding is approximately 28 to 30 inches long, so you'll need to make at least 30 inches worth of binding. If you don't want to make it, you don't have to. You can actually buy pre-made bias tape binding and you can use fold over elastic. It's really up to you. I'm going to show you how to make the binding really quick, just in case. The first thing that we're going to do is use a little piece of washi tape along our, the edge of our body piece. By using this washi tape along the edge, because it is on the fold, it just gives you a visual guide to show where to place the fabric. This is a steel rule die, but there is no steel rule right here. That means you can place the fabric on the fold and it won't cut anything in this area. So by having this washi tape here, it just makes it a little bit easier to see. I want to make sure that the stretch of this fabric goes up and down on the body. So we are going to place a piece here. We're going to put a cutting pad on top and a cutting pad on the bottom. This die works in most of the Big Shot machines, the Big Shot, Big Shot Plus, as well as the Big Shot Pro. When you're cutting out the back pieces, you wanna make sure that the fabric extends further beyond the fold mark. The reason for that is the doll head is a little bit bigger and this fabric doesn't stretch. So if you're using a quilter's cotton, you'll need to make sure that the back is open so that you can get this on her body. After cutting your back pieces, you're still going to have fabric attached here on the side. And this is on the fold. So you can just cut straight across from the line that was there on the top and the bottom. And now you're going to cut right down the center. And this extra room will give you the ability to fold your edge and give it a nice hem. I have some binding pieces made. And although this is typically something you would cut on the bias, you don't have to cut these pieces on the bias. But you do want to make sure that they're cut so they have a little bit of stretch. So check your stretch direction on your fabric before you cut your strips. This is a one inch strip, really simple. You're going to fold your strip in half, make a little crease right here, open it back up, and now you're going to fold your edges in towards that crease. So we have that on this side as well as on this side, and then you're going to fold that back in half again, and it's as simple as that. When putting on this binding, we're going to use a washable glue stick as well as a really hot iron, so please be careful. I'm going to hold my arm out of the way. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of glue right along this bottom edge. If you have a fine tip and washable glue liquid, that would be great as well. And we are just going to place that on there and heat set it and then keep going down the line. This will make it so much easier to sew this binding onto your top. Now I'm going to glue the other top piece. So now I have it front and back and I'm going to heat set that as well. On the back piece, we're going to do it just a little bit differently. First you'll fold your double hem it doesn't need to be a very large double hem, just depends on the amount of fabric that you have as well as how much you want it to overlap. I'm just going to press this really quick. Now we're going to take our binding piece and we're just going to clip off some little corners here. And I'm going to fold this piece down, give it a nice little crease, press. I'll hit it with some glue and hit it with the iron. And now I'm going to put some glue right along this bottom edge. And I'm going to place my fabric right on top there. 
I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to press it in place. Once you've done that, you have a nice clean finished edge. We're going to trim off any excess length on our binding here, following the same contour of the panel pieces. And we are going to now sew our binding right onto the top as well as the other back sides. We are going to top stitch the folded inside edge, not the one along the neck, but the one underneath. Straight stitch. We're going to do this on the front panel as well as the two back panels. We're going to take a nine inch piece of binding and we're going to glue it right onto the front sides of your tank. So it's going to look like this. And you're going to leave this open. You're not going to glue it. And we are going to attach the ends to it on the other side. So here we are. We're going to glue this side here. We're going to start at the very corner. Start with just a little bit of glue. Put it in there and press it down. And go all along this inside right here. Press it down gently. Make sure you don't get glue in all the wrong places. Fold it over. And now we're going to heat set that and then we are going to sew from one corner to the other. Once you've finished this side, go ahead and complete the other side. When you're all finished sewing your top stitching on those binding pieces, trim off any extra threads. And now we're going to flip our piece over and we're going to sew these side seams. When I'm working with a little bit of a thicker corner right here, I like to pin them together, pin it in place. And I want to start by sewing a little bit further down, going all the way back up to the top edge and then coming back down. This will give you a really nice clean edge at the top where you're not worried about little threads sticking out or coming apart. This is also a quarter inch. We're going to back stitch all the way and come right back on. And back stitch at the bottom. We've sewn all the pieces together and now we are going to finish it by folding our bottom edge just once and twice. So we'll give it a nice double hem and we'll finish that with the top stitch. When you're all done with the bottom hem, all you have left to do is decide how you want to finish the back. You can use some hook and loop tape. So I didn't, you can see I did not put a seam on here just yet because I'm going to use a hook and loop tape on this one. Whereas on this doll, this tank, I used a snap. So if you want to use a snap, you can. If you want to use hook or loop, you can as well. Again, this is all about personalizing it and making it your own. I hope that you will share it with me and I hope that you'll have fun making clothes for your 18 inch doll.